Fleeters gathering in downtown Indianapolis after the ruling from the Merit Board. 24-Hour News 8's Eric Feldman is live at City Market where things just wrapped up. Eric? Hey, Mike, it was about 15 minutes ago that people left here at City Market. There were a couple dozen people gathered here in a circle for this vigil that was put on by Faith in Indiana uh, because of the decision that came down from the merit board regarding uh, the two officers who shot uh, and killed Aaron Bailey. They were praying, wondering what's next. They were saddened by this decision, a decision that one person we talked to says could foster more distrust between the community and the police department because uh, this one gentleman says that if the authorities aren't punished for their actions when they're in the wrong, then how can the community trust them? And we talked to a pastor from Indianapolis, John Gurton Jr. He talked about how he has two kids, uh, young, 116, 111, who he's going to have to talk to tonight and try to explain this decision that he says is pretty much unexplainable. He also mentioned how leaving tonight, he doesn't feel as safe as he did when he came here today because, as I was mentioning, those actions that he says from authorities not being checked, uh, leaving him feeling less safe in this community. We're going to play a little bit of our interview with John Gurton right now. But more specifically to the African American community, uh, that uh, no responsibility and no accountability uh, seems to be taken uh, after a man is uh, shot unarmed in the back in our community, even on the recommendation uh, of our chief of police. So tonight, a night of prayer, but then after tonight, we asked, what's next? How does the community try to come together after this? And John Gurton Jr. says that there need to be conversations, not only maybe about what the merit board process is like, but also about implicit bias. And we've been reporting on a string of incidents that have been captured on camera nationwide that are questionable decisions that show potential implicit bias. And he says this is just the latest example of what has been caught on camera recently, but that he says the African American community has been dealing with for far longer. Now, when the vigil wrapped up about 20 minutes ago, uh, there was the recommendation from people here to take down Mayor Hogsett's number to give him a call to let them know how they feel. I'm live at City Market, Eric Feldman, 24 Hour News 8.